Baruch Shani to Baruch 51. And it shall come to pass, when that appointed day has gone by, that then shall the aspect of those who are condemned be afterwards changed, and the glory of those who are justified. For the aspect of those who now act wickedly shall become worse than it is, as they shall suffer torment. And, rather also, as for the glory of those who have now been justified in my Torah, who have had understanding in their life, and who have planted in their heart the root of wisdom, then their splendor shall be glorified in changes, and the form of their face shall be turned into the light of their beauty, that they may be able to acquire and receive the world which does not die, which is then promised to them. For over this above all shall those who come then lament that they rejected my Torah and stopped their ears that they might not hear wisdom or receive understanding. When therefore they see those over whom they are now exalted, but who shall then be exalted and glorified more than they, they shall respectively be transformed, the latter into the splendor of angels, and the former shall yet more waste away in wonder at the visions and in the beholding of the forms. For they shall first behold and afterwards depart to be tormented. But those who have been saved by their works and to whom the Torah has been now a hope and understanding, an expectation and wisdom, a confidence shall wonders appear in their time. For they shall behold the world which is now invisible to them, and they shall behold the time which is now hidden from them. And time shall no longer age them, for in the heights of that world shall they dwell, and they shall be made like unto the angels, and be made equal to the stars. And they shall be changed into every form they desire, from beauty into loveliness, and from light into the splendor of glory. For there shall be spread before them the extents of paradise, and there shall be shown to them the beauty of the majesty of the living creatures which are beneath the throne, and all the armies of the angels who are now held fast by my word, lest they should appear, and are held fast by a command that they may stand in their places till their advent comes. Moreover, there shall then be excellency in the righteous surpassing that in the angels. For the first shall receive the last, those whom they were expecting, and the last, those of, those of whom they used to hear that they had passed away. For they have been delivered from this world of tribulation and laid down the burden of anguish. For what then have men lost their life, and for what have those who were on the earth exchanged their soul? For then they chose not for themselves this time which beyond the reach of anguish could not pass away. But they chose for themselves that time whose issues are full of lamentations and evils. And they denied the world which ages not to those who come to it. And they rejected the time of glory 
so that they shall not come to the honor of which I told you before.